One of the things I want to go over in this video is just the proper way to mix the filler. Uh, it's a little tough to explain sometimes, so I'm actually looking forward to the opportunity of doing a visual. Uh, this is just an auto body filler, lightweight, nothing too fancy about it, but it's pretty much exactly what you want for filling in uh, cracks between the plywood, where the screws went in, uh, where the flashing came over the edge. Uh, it's nice and light and easy to sand. So once you're done all that, hopefully you get it pretty much right flush the first time, but if you don't, you can just take some quick a uh, few brushes with the sandpaper and then you're ready to go. So what you generally do is you just mix out a lump. Now generally not too big of a lump because it goes a fair ways when you're just filling small cracks and it generally sets up a little quicker than one expects. Auto body people really like that and basically this is auto body filler so the long, what I always tell people to do is you put a stripe on top. The longer the stripe, the faster it's going to set. Now, I want this to set reasonably fast, but, you know, if I put a full stripe, it'd set really fast and probably faster than I can work with it. Now, what you do is you mix in that catalyst. Again, this is a catalyst just like fiberglass resin, except it is not compatible with fiberglass resin. Um, couldn't tell you why that is chemically, but they use their own catalyst for this paste mixture. It is all related fiberglass resin uh, based products. They're very compatible with each other, but you can't use the liquid catalyst that you use everywhere else mix up this filler. And what you're trying to do at this stage, most of, many of you probably know this, uh, is you're just trying to get an even color. And again, we're dealing with red catalyst here. The more you put in, the redder this mixture is going to be in the end, and the faster you're going to have to work with it, or else you're going to lose it. You get a feel for it after a while. And I can tell that I need to work fairly fast here. So I'm going to start with my screw holes. Put this away. 